Padres fans, we have a new developing story from Bob Nightingale this morning, so I guess we got to take it with a grain of salt. But the San Diego Padres have engaged with the Pirates in trade talks for all-star superstar outfielder Brian Reynolds. And he also had mentioned that Chris Paddock and Ryan Weathers, two young controllable starting pitchers for the Padres, have been mentioned in discussions. You know, the Padres and Brian Reynolds have been linked for a long time now, but how real was it? Was there any substance to that story? Now we have a pretty, you know, established MLB reporter talking about it this morning, and we all know the outfield depth, or if I should say the lack thereof, in the San Diego Padres outfield has been well documented so far this spring training, even Bob Melvin having to maybe put C.J. Abrams in center field, Will Myers in center field, Jerkson Profar in center field, because he even alluded to it that they have no outfield depth when the Potters are celebrating about Matt Beatty. So this would be a franchise-altering move, for better, for worse. It's been well documented that Brian Reynolds and the Pittsburgh Pirates are having some arbitration issues and now he even goes to court. There's not much control left on Brian Reynolds. So in my opinion, if you were to make a trade for him, you would have to do exactly what Atlanta did with Matt Olson. You would have to extend him ASAP. The issue is the Padres don't have money to do so. They'd have to go over the CBT unless that extension kicks in when Will Myers, Eric Hosmer, and some of those other players come off the books. Now, this is insane. What does a Brian Reynolds move look like? Well, if Weathers and Paddock are in the discussions, that is a big part of the trade, but it doesn't get it done. In my opinion, you would have to throw Campusano in there as well, in addition to Josh Mears and maybe Jackson Merrill. The key question is, do the Padres have to give up Hassel? Well, if they're trading for Brian Reynolds, they're essentially probably okay with giving up Hassel because Hassel is supposed to be the team's Brian Reynolds. So maybe it's Hassel, Paddock, and Weathers for Brian Reynolds. Now, if you're looking at that kind of trade package, that is starting to get close in terms of what Pittsburgh wants for Brian Reynolds in return. He's one of the highest valued players in baseball. He had a six war year last year. He hit 302, 24 home runs, knocked in 90 ribs, had almost 600 plate appearances. He stays healthy. These are everything you need from a superstar outfielder. Now, the biggest question is what will AJ Preller and company be willing to give up for Brian Reynolds. I want you to let Hog know down below what your hypothetical trade packages would be for Brian Reynolds. I ask you this. Would you do Chris Paddock, Ryan Weathers, Robert Hassel, and Josh Mears? Would you pull the trigger on that four, four guys going to Pittsburgh for Brian Reynolds? Would sure up, would just make this outfield so dynamic and would just change it. Right now, the current outfielders, Will Myers and right. What you'd be able to do is you'd be able to move Myers to left, have Grisham in center, Reynolds in right, or you can have CJ experiment in left, whatever that looks like. But man, the Padres, the Pirates, we are one week away. Literally today, we are one week away from opening day in Chase Field. Will Brian Reynolds be a Padre? I want you to let Hog know down below. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Woo! I'm pumped. Let's see what Preller and company has in store. It's been your boy Hog, and I'm signing out. Peace.